Howdy, howdy. Social networking sites. A good thing or a bad thing? Well, probably both, really. Networking sites are pretty cool. They were like the next step after MSN. Back in the 90s, when we were all kids, MSN was the greatest. We could connect with our friends instantly. We weren't alone at the computer. We could be talking to 12 people at once. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, and all that crap is like the evolution of MSN and chat. We can chat now, private message, we can see photos of each other, twits. We can all be connected in a variety of ways over these sites. Of course, one has to question if it's good for one to be sitting in front of a computer talking with a dozen other people sitting in front of a computer instead of all outside partying. <laughs> But I don't think networking sites are going to be here forever. I think they're actually going to be around shorter than MSN and the whole chat phase was. I think networking sites are just part of the evolution for what the internet's going to become. Why do you like networking sites like Facebook and stuff? Because you're connected? Or because you have your own user page? People are coming to see what you're doing, checking out pictures of you, videos of you, comments of you, commenting on your comments, commenting on your post. Like, is it that you enjoy networking sites because we are all, or is it that we enjoy networking sites because we are all connected? Or is it we enjoy networking sites because we all have our own page, we all have our own, it's better than our own web page because we can, anyone can log in, your mom can log into Facebook and make her own Facebook. So do we like these networking sites not because we are connected, but because we can each show off individually. There's an expression, an individual expression in each person's user page and stuff. You, is it that we like these sites because it's like, welcome to the Derek user page, or welcome to the you user page. It, it, I think this is what is going to happen eventually is we're going to have, everyone's going to have their own show on the internet. Like that's what the internet's going to be about for everyone. It started with us just chatting with each other. Then it's networking sites and everyone always being connected. But eventually, we're just going to have like a video camera or a webcam on at all times and anyone can just go through the billions of different webcams seeing what billions of different people are doing on their, in front of their computers. And you can chat with them because it will be live. So everybody will be watching everybody. Everybody will have their own show, not their own user page, their own show. Welcome to the blah blah show, welcome to the Greg show, the Steve show, the Derek show. Right now, this is the Derek show. Like what people are doing on YouTube even, or with these video blogs, or anything. Everyone wants, oh, they're, like, we are human. We don't want just 15 minutes of fame. We want a lifetime of fame. And the internet is how each one of us can both express and get that infinite fame. We can constantly have our own show on the internet, and everyone can be watching each other. Everybody can be famous. <laughs> So this is why I say that networking sites are going to be sh around shorter than the chatting was. Because already people are, is that what they're do that this is what they're doing, I feel like. When I check out someone's Facebook or MySpace or something, it's like they're trying to draw me into their life and turn their life into a show and make me come back to read their posts on their latest thing going on, check out their pictures and see what's up. Eventually everyone's just going to have recordings of their life on there, um, webcams on them at all times almost. We're each hunting for our fame, and we're each hunting so we can be watched constantly. Now that may sound creepy, but we we enjoy this. A great um, example of this is, I'll maybe link it in the comments here, is We Live in Public. It's a great documentary where this guy had this theory too that I'm using, that networking sites will evolve into everybody having their own show. And what, he, what We Live in Public basically is, is a great documentary showing about how people will be living in like these small little spaces, but they all have cameras on each other. Now I'm not saying we're all going to live in little spaces, but I do think we're all going to have our own cameras on each other, and networking sites are just going to evolve into everyone's own personal show, basically. And it's not going to be a bad thing. I think it's going to be fun. We're going to be connected. We thought we were connected when we were kids with MSN and stuff. But our kids are going to be, um, they'll be able to literally watch on camera what all their friends are doing, and then when they're not sitting on camera and stuff, they'll actually be going out doing stuff. And, yeah, this is the future, everyone with their own show. <laughs> so ask yourself, why do I like networking sites? Why do I enjoy going on my Facebook, my MySpace? 
Are you trying to advertise yourself and bring people to the user page? Are you a viewer and constantly watching? Or are you both? Where do you think networking sites are going to go? Comment on the video, tell me yourself, subscribe for more videos, and check out DuderEntertainment.com because I got a lot of flash and fun things on there for you guys to watch. Because I'm an entertainer, and I love you guys. Watch what I got going on there. <laughs> Alright, have a good one, guys. Peace.